able to uh, distribute everything everyone gets an equal amount of everything regardless of how hard you work or don't work from each according to his ability for each or to te- to each according to his need that was basically the marxist communism we already have a discussion on the class struggle like bourgeoisie and the proletariat and that are something that you can uh, put it into the communism heading the other one is the socialism socialism is a stage between the capitalism and the communism like another term i am going to use is the nationalize that mean the production for example corporate corporations banks raw material etc gives a control of them to the government the other one is the distribution of the production the products are distributed among the members of the society by various group called trader and the businessman again that is another structure of the economic institution the last one is exchange value the produced goods and the services have their exchange value which can be measured in the cash or the kind uh the first known currency was used in 1600 bc like in a turkey coins then evolved into a bank notes around uh 1661 ad the first credit card was introduced in 1946 it's a kind of a things in the form of the goods and the services lastly we have to discuss uh some of the function of the economic institutions so we have a uh different functions of the economic institution the first one is the power and the authority power is the intentional influence over the beliefs emotion and the behaviors of the people while authority refers to the formal power to act the other one could be the economic resources provided by power and the authority to its holder wealth is a great power which authorizes one to hold control of various agencies organizations and resources the other one is socialization it refers to preparing newcomers to become members of an existing group and to think feel and act in a way the group consider appropriate economic institutions significantly socialize the members of the society through their respective norms and these norms are taught to the concerned members the workplace is an agent of the socialization in some cases resocialization a new job brings its new norms and the values including what prepares to fill out what equipment to use what tasks to complete and then and when to complete them when to arrive at work when to take a break and when to leave office the other one is need satisfaction the major function of the economic institution is to fulfill the human needs for which they have developed all the sectors of the economy play an important part in this regard employment is very important for the economic survival of individual if employees receive adequate pay then their needs will be satisfied the fourth one is social stratification it refers to a system by which a society ranks or categorizes of the people in a hierarchy the society is divided into different classes by distribution of economic resources social inequality plays a vital role in the smooth of operation of the society the last one is income generation and the employment economic institution provide the opportunities to the people to earn their uh, livelihood through which people satisfy their basic needs so all these were the functions of the economic institutions